You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, I play with, there's a brother between us, Simon. Played with him in high school for two years, um, but never got to see him pl uh, play with him. Never even really got to see him play. I've watched like maybe one of his high school games, a couple of Pop Warner here and there, but never got to see him play in college or anything. Uh, so it's different, especially because whenever I play with Simon, he played defense. So now Adam plays offense, so it's a whole different dynamic. But so far, it's been a blast. Uh, for me, I got to play with Simon also for one year. Uh, I was a freshman in high school, and he's a senior. Never got to play with Brandon. Again, Simon's on defense. I'm on offense. I'm a receiver, so he kind of had to cover me. But it's a lot different and a lot more fun with Brandon throwing to me now than being on the Roosters. The one thing that Adam is going to be able to better, uh, help our offense this year is that he's, going to, he's one of the guys where you get him the ball in just quick routes, and he's able to, to make explosive plays. He's, uh, he's really good in open space, making guys miss one-on-one. -on -one. Physical player, um, obviously, I mean, he's going to hit you deep if you, if you give him the chance. But I think the, the part that I see him doing the most is catching like the, the bubbles or the five-yard outs or the flat routes. and taking 15, 20 yards, 25 yards up the sideline, where usually whenever a guy gets that, it's a quick tackle, but I think he'll make some guys miss this year. I think that he's taking his knowledge from, uh, from Duke and everything he's learned here, and he's just teaching me the offense, teaching me the ropes of how the calls are coming in, and so he's making it a lot more simple for me to understand the offense and understand the coverages so that I can get open for him.